was an unknown transforming robot. Unknown, a mystery to us. Unknown, transforming robot. What? Hey there, YouTube. Since I've been focusing on the really, really, really big toys of late, I thought what I'd do is some smaller ones, some smaller toys, but which have really, really big characters and which are just gorgeous pieces in their own right. Um, spider formers. Spider formers, they're a relative rarity. There are more than you think. Most of them repaints of certain core moulds. I have all of the core moulds. They are um, the original Beast Wars Tarantulas, uh, Transmetal Tarantulas, Transmetal 2 Black Arachnia, and Beast Machines Black Arachnia. There are various recolours and offshoots of those moulds. There is RC um, of Transmetal 2 Black Arachnia. There is... Another version of Beast Machine's Black Arachnia, which is more pink than purple. And there is also a beautifully, re a beautiful, beautiful recolour called Crystal Widow. So, more than you imagine. What I'm going to do in this review is focus upon the core moulds and the core characters. And really, when it comes to spider formers, there are few more iconic than this guy. This guy is the most sadistic, psychotic, unpleasant, treacherous Predacon arguably ever to exist. I, the Predacons are a group of sociopaths, lunatics, and sundry other indescribable bastards, but this guy is a bastard par excellence. He is perfectly vile. This is Beast Wars Tarantulas. And words truly fail when it comes to describing his sheer unpleasantness. In the Beast Wars continuity, he is one of Megatron's many, many underlings. And unlike most of Megatron's underlings, he's very capable, very intelligent, and initially seems to be quite reasonably loyal to Megatron, insofar as loyalty goes amongst the Predacons, which isn't terribly far. He seems quite loyal, he seems reasonably content under his leadership. It's only later on in the Beast Wars continuity that we learn that actually the relationship isn't quite as stable as it initially seems. Um, barring his sundry other unpleasant characteristics, um, not least amongst them being his proclivity for luring small furry animals into his lair and eating them, uh, not to mention other Transformers, this guy is a cannibal. He lures Maximals into his underground lair, traps them in his energon webs, drains them of energy, and then literally sucks them dry. He is a very evil chappy. But that aside, all of those characteristics aside, he also has multiple conflicting loyalties and lots of lo and lots of different agendas. He is ultimately revealed to be a plant, a, uh, a mole in Megatron's organisation, and his ultimate loyalty is to the Tripredicus Council, who have planted him to find out what Megatron's up to and to throw a monkey wrench into the works, so to speak. But even beyond that, he seems to have some very, very strange agendas in the Beast Wars. Uh, towards the end, he tries to blow up the Ark, containing all of the uh, deactivated Autobots and Decepticons who will eventually go on to start the War on Earth, um, which would effectively wipe out the universe as it stands. The, the status quo with the Maximals and the Predacons would be completely obliterated. However, he proclaims that he isn't descended from the Maximals, or he is a descended from the Autobots or the Decepticons, and nor are the Tripredicus Council, and unfortunately it's not followed through. We never find out precisely who Tarantulas or the Tripredicus Council are, which is a great shame. I mean, there's lots of sort of 
fan wankery on who they could potentially be and where they could potentially be from. But there's nothing that's ever been officially produced, um, so it remains a mystery. What there is, there was a little clue, which has sort of gone on to become um, the basis for his characterization in the expanded universe. Megatron refers to him at one point as Unicron Spawn, but that. I, that really is sort of just a generic insult that you could give to Cybertronians. It's like calling a human being Satan Spawn, basically. Um, but that was taken by the fans to mean that he is a herald of Unicron. And this has carried through into the extended universe. In the 3H comics, Tarantulas is resurrected in an uber-powerful form. Um, and it's revealed that he is indeed a servant of Unicron. And in that continuity, he goes on to serve as one of uh, Unicron's followers in the Universe War. Which is rather nice to think that he still exists out there somewhere in the Transformers universe. Now this has the singular honour of being the very first Beast Wars toy I ever got my little hands on. And bloody Nora, what a toy. What a toy to start that collection off with. It's no wonder I love Beast Wars so much. This, if this was the first, it's so gorgeous. I do like the original Transmetal toy, but it's not a patch on this. You know what I love about the Transmetals? They remove the silly gimmicks. There are no firing missiles, there's no... Silly, whirring, clanking, lighty, flashy up, makey, noisy bits. There's just the toy. They, d I mean, okay, they did add in a kind of half-assed vehicle mode. But you know what? His half-assed vehicle mode ain't half bad. It's not, it's not great, but it's certainly not diabolical. But anyway, insofar as the spider mode goes, he's wonderful. Really wonderful. Obviously not a tarantula. Um, let's get that out of the way first. He's not a tarantula. He's a true spider. Although, now that I say that, he does have certain qualities of a tarantula. These fangs look like they are the stabbing down kind, which are characteristic of tarantulas and not true spiders. True spiders have sort of hooked fangs that they lift the skin up with and then inject the venom. I know you're not fucking interested, but I, I don't care. I find it interesting. And that's what matters, ultimately, because the universe revolves around me. So yeah, he's a bizarre hybrid of various different spider stereotypes. He has the spindly, uh, true spider legs and the stabby, downy tarantula fangs. Uh, he's very, very creepy in this mode. Very, very beautiful indeed. He has tons of articulation. Maybe not as much as you'd expect. The legs are all just one piece plastic. I mean, it would have been nice if all the various different bits were articulated, but they're not. They're on ball joints, so they just move around a lot. The detail is freaking gorgeous really gorgeous i particularly like the eyes the eyes are very creepy on this transformer now uh as i said he does have a half-assed transmetal mode but it's an okay half-assed transmetal mode it's a sp i suppose you could say it's a spider cycle uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. You can sort of configure the legs however you wish in this mode, but that's that's basically it. It ain't bad. It, it, it's okay. You, you, I, I can see how that would work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to convince myself here. Yeah, it, it works. Come on. Uh, get behind it. Yes, let's, let's all into into a grand mass delusion yeah it's really good it is yeah 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 no no it's not really good it's it is a half-assed transmetal mode still but it's perfectly serviceable it's not like it's horrendous or anything particularly in comparison to some of the transmetal modes i can think of transmetal megatron dinosaur with roller skates and fans on its ass yeah yeah, I can see how that would be of some use as well, uh, from get, for getting from A to B. I, I rather like that. But for the time being, let us forget about it, shall we, and just concentrate on the spider mode. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it even has this here, which acts as an exhaust um, for the cycle mode, but also sort of serves as makeshift spinnerette. So you can imagine the web, the Energon web coming out of there. It's just a great idea. Really, really lovely idea. And it's something that, that characterises the deluxe transmetals from the Beast Wars line. This is when the Beast Wars line really started to come into its own and started to produce toys that were not just 
experimental and really interesting, but which were bloody brilliant, quite frankly. You've got this guy, Transmetal Pterosaur, Transmetal Waspinator. They're all bloody wonderful toys. Some of the best examples of Transformers Deluxes you will get. Arguably rivaled by the Deluxes in the animated line, which are also very, 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 very beautiful. Indeed. I have a couple of those to review, actually, at some point. But yes, that's Transmetal Tarantulas, or Tarantulas, in his spider mode. Uh, right, here, on to his robot mode. And my robot mode, I've, I've altered my Tarantulas a little bit. He's slightly customised. I never liked the face of this in its robot mode. It doesn't look like how he looks on the cartoon, and I like the way he looks on the cartoon, with the one-piece visor across his eyes. So I've altered mine so that he has the one-piece visor across his eyes. Jesus Christ, the lighting in this room is fucking disgraceful for displaying this. But there he is. There is Transmetal Tarantulas in his robot mode. And just... Oh, fuck me. Fuck me sideways with a power drill. It's lovely. Oh, are you sick of me saying that yet? Are you sick of me reviewing really, really lovely bots? Because I will break out the shit if you want. I will break out the pretenders. I will break out... The few action masters I have, I will break out the rock lords. If you so desire. If not, feast thine eyes. Feast thine eyes upon the beauty, the glory, the malevolence that is Transmetal Tarantulas. It, oh, God, just look at it. Just look at this bot. You know, this is the kind of thing that you sort of have to get used to if you're sort of coming into Beast Wars out of Generation 1. You might look at these legs and think, ooh, kibble. No, 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 no. You have to, you have to acclimatise yourself to Beast Wars. All right, not kibble, not kibble at all. Aesthetics, distinct aesthetic style. You can arrange these legs in any which way you so desire. I like them like this because I think it looks stupendous. But you can have them facing forward like a barrage of cannons or something like that if you so desire. He's so lovely. He d uh, there's the altered face, by the way. What have I done? I have put a bit of blue tack across his eyes and painted it uh, yellow so that it looks like the visor that he wears in the show. He I've also repainted the head slightly so that the colour scheme matches um, a bit more closely with his show counterpart. That's all. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with the face as it occurs. Nothing wrong at all. It's just that I like the way he looks in the show, and I wanted it to be a bit closer to that, so there, that's what I've done. He is phenomenal. The The articulation of this guy, he, he's one of the, the Beast Wars toys where they just went, let, let's go wild with the articulation. Almost everything is on ball joints. Almost everything. You can move every inch of this guy. He does have some issues. I mean, this is one of them. The way his hands are formulated, they're these sort of grasping claws like this but they can only sit like that so that he has to hold his weapon like that like that look as if he's sort of gifting you a pizza cutter of doom that's a little strange and also what the fuck is that oh that's 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 not a weapon all right i would prefer it if that just folded away and he didn't even have any weapons it's these are absolutely fine as far as I'm concerned. It's not much of a stretch of imagination to see these things as missile launchers or machine gun turrets or something. Don't need this half-assed shit. But apart from that, my god, this guy is phenomenal. Just look at it. I mean, we're looking at it on the on the screen now. Words just fail me. It's a Stunning toy. And Tarantulas, Tarantulas for me is as iconic as the likes of Starscream or Thundercracker or Soundwave. You... Yeah, you just need to have this guy because he is an essential part of the Transformers lore. Not only in the Beast Wars continuity, but more all over, really. 
he is a phenomenal villain, a Hannibal Lecter stereotype almost, which is a lovely thing to see in Transformers. Beast Wars throws up these characters a lot, actually. You get these really interesting multifaceted villains. Rampage is another good example. Uh, Tarantulas is one of the most distinct and interesting characters in Beast Wars, and if that doesn't sell you, if you're not a character guy, then get it for the plastic, get it for the toy. It's It's stunning. And it's a spider former, and although they're not as rare as you think, they are relative rarities. They don't come along that often. So, Tarantulas. Psychotic, cannibalistic, sadistic, pizza cutter wielding maniac. How can you possibly resist?